Hey there everybody, what's new in the whole universe? Uh, especially hello to Mohammed Sajid who recommended this video. Yes, you can recommend your own video in the comment section below. Today we're gonna talk about uh, what about Rostov on Don is the south city in the Russian Federation. And who am I? Who am who are you talking to right now? I am a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences, and I have been living in uh, Moscow, St. Petersburg, in Krasnodar. Sochi, Anapa, also on Novocherkask and other cities of Russian Federation. But also I was communicating with people. But I did not live in Rostov-on-Don. I was speaking with people who was living with Denchik. Denchik is the uh, name of the person that I have met uh, in uh, in Sochi, he is my viewer from Russia, because I have my Russian YouTube channel, and I communicate with audience there, and also he is our viewer, and we were communicating, and he is from Rostov-on-Don, and we were communicating with him on 2020, and 2020 year, and also we were communicating with people who were in Rostov-on-Don, and I have some opinions about the city, and also I googled some information about it in Russian language, and I can kind of translate translate retell to you i'm not a professionalist i'm not a person who was uh, there it will be like a kind of collection of opinions that i have from people around the russia okay 10 things to visit we will look today at them let's start our thing yes uh, it is uh, our viewer Mohammed Sajid and also thank you for everybody who was uh, writing messages. Let's start our talk. First uh, talk will be about this cathedral. Can uh, first of all need to speak maybe about uh, like what we have uh, in Rostov and Don. Rostov and Don is the south place on Russian Federation and it is placed uh, near and on Don. Don is a river, and a river that uh, kind of separate parts of Asia and Europe, kind of. Yes, and also it is a good place uh, to live, yes. And it is south. City means that it is hot, like a Turkey. Turkey, but kind of a little bit cold, uh, colder, yes, a little bit of cooler. Let's take a look at pictures. And here is our cathedral. You can see this cathedral of the kind of uh, woman, kind, kind of uh, orthodox uh, church. Uh, you can see it by your own, by the way. And uh, uh, if we will look at this place, it looks kind of the same as uh, on Moscow street. We have Arbat street, kind of, really. In the center of Moscow we have kind of of this street and also and also it looks like near the palace street uh, palace square in uh, in St Petersburg the same view if you will visit you will find something look likable things and uh, nice amazing and also about opinion of uh, of the of the person who is Denchik he said uh, that uh, a lot of uh, good, precious girl are inside of the city. Also, the city has uh, different types of religious and nation nationalist uh, things. And uh, he, is, uh, he said that uh, more than 100 uh, different uh, nations you can find there. He said, uh, and also other people. Okay, next take a look at other things. It will be a next picture. It is a picture of the monument on Sadova Street. Sadova Street means uh, garden. Garden Street. Uh, why is it called uh, this way? Because near these uh, places we have a lot of gardens. But previously it was a place for kind of uh, how to call it uh, for rubbish, for trash. Uh, but now it is kind of from the from uh, from the. <laughs> From the door to Kings, yes. Next, where is it? Uh, it is uh, Pushkin Street. Pushkin Street, and also you can find on this website more pictures if you want. It is uh, Pushkin Street, uh, looks like uh, parks and some of the nice and uh, uh, e Ionic style order, Ionic style of uh, architecture things. Good. Good, 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 good. Next, it will be embankment. Embankment of the of the dawn. 
and uh, how can we see people are doing fishing it is normal in russia in saint petersburg we have the same thing also some malls is here you can see and uh, some of the i don't know who is he but it is uh, some monument you can see this by your own by the way it is not super new city you can look at uh, pictures of uh, of the background it may be 1900s uh, city built maybe it was the best kind of creations because this type of uh, skyscrapers they are 2000s i think so zero zeros zeros four zeros three time yes it is kind of old but new new old yes also we have uh, here is uh, some bridges you can find out next it is uh, oh it is a center thing central monument here you can find and uh, it is uh, mostly for for uh, world war military stuff i think so and also it is maybe mall or cinema theater or maybe conference uh, hall or maybe it will be something for concert uh, when you can uh, listen to music and some of the place when you can hear something and it is uh, atlans who are holding something and also the wheel of looking and uh, amusement park i think so and by the way it is uh, some of the stairs too next uh, it is a place uh, i don't know what is it by the way i googled it uh, but uh, it is kazachi hooter means uh, that uh, it it is uh, a kazakh kazakh shore kazakh island kazakh kazakh isle uh, it is a place hooter means uh, like a place where we live kind of island and uh, kazachi means uh, kazakhs kazakhs are the nation that lived in ukraine and uh, in russia in south russia and uh, and also on ukraine and kazakhs wear specific hats sometimes and if you want to read more about them then read a book of M michael sholokhov Mikhail mikhail sholokhov Tiki Don, or it will be called also Silent Don. I think so, if I translated it correct. Next picture, it is a central central uh, market of the place where you can find. I don't know uh, <laughs> how can we learn something from it, uh, but it looks really like order, not Ionic. It is more for Dorian, Dorian order of architecture. Also, it is a specific local museum of history and uh, some ex uh, exhibition things. By the way, in Russia, we don't have so big amount of pictures and information on the internet. Yes, we have it, but so not really nice quality of it. If we will compare with, Re with Moscow, with Sochi, and we will compare with uh, cities like uh, St. Petersburg. Three most, most popular cities in Russia, it is uh, Sochi. Uh, St. Petersburg and Moscow. That's all. Anything else? It is kind of Jesus Christ. Is it existed or not? Uh, sometimes. But uh, I mean that in in a, in the terms of information with good quality that uh, it is good in terms of of Moscow. Terms of Moscow that uh, Moscow it is nice quality and really high looking and high quality definition pictures. And uh, it is a dawn, yes, and also this bridge that I told. And here is uh, some of, how to say it, correct, uh, sales or maybe cargo, cargo, yes, cargo places and uh, called Captain Krasnov. Captain Krasnov, Krasnov is a good, uh, like, a person in Russia. And uh, next it is Stanislavsky Street. Stanislavsky Street is the place where some years ago a lot of uh, horses a lot of people on a uh, on this uh, carriages and uh, things like this nature we were going and uh, making fun and uh, i think that it is uh, kind of old looking really in russia we have the same st uh, in moscow we have the same street uh, baumanska street ladarska ladarska street it is near um, bauman state Uni technical university we have and uh, near this we have ladarska she this uh, street was kind of lookish this way too but now it's reconstructed maybe it will be reconstructed too you can look uh, really it looks like uh, jesus no
And uh, what can I compare this city to? To Krasnodar. And uh, some of uh, Russian people do the same thing. They compare it to Krasnodar. I have been in Krasnodar and I want to w share my opinion about it. It is more mostly Soviet. Soviet type of city really with... Uh, style of uh, not really nice, super beautiful on a way of like colorfulness. It is mostly of colors of uh, kind of... If we look, what's the color of it? This type of color, I think so. Like my skin, Sm my skin color, not color of this, like blue, not color, maybe only sky. Not color of this really super uh, greeny, not this way, Most, mostly for the color of this, like this uh, recorder, it is a city, uh, cities of Soviet Union, a kind of silveric, silveric even grayish, grayish plus uh, green, uh, green, uh, not dirty green, but without so saturation unsaturationable, I mean, but saturationable in a way of era, It uh, you can visit it, and how many people you can find, who are they, they are mostly people really super, super ordinary, ordinary in a way, not, uh, not ordinary, not correct word, uh, like, they're F friendly, friendly, opened, 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 if we will compare with uh, Moscow and uh, kind of business and uh, like Jesus Christ, more opened, more calm and like this way they are speaking and sometimes they are more helpful, uh, helpful in a way not that in Moscow they are not helpful, but they have more time to invest to you and they are more caring to you sometimes. It is what we can call to people who are living in Soviet-type uh, cities. What can I say more? Uh, that's all, maybe. I don't know what to share. If I will be there, I will share it share it to you, okay? And uh, thank you a lot for watching. Thank you a lot for Muhammad. Muhammad, uh, I don't know how to say it correct with stress uh, to the places. Thank you a lot. See you next time. Be cool and always improve self daily. Going forward, it's our thing. And uh, if you want, let me know in the comment section below what you want to learn more. Maybe from cities that I already know. See you next time.